Beekeeping with Andrew and Ben by Mrs. Scheel. Hey friends, can you guess what this is? That's right, it's a beekeeper's hat. He has this nice hard hat, but he also needs to have a face mask and a net around his neck. Why do you think they need a face mask and a net around their neck? To keep the bees out. You don't want bees buzzing in your ears and in your hair, do you? Here's my nephew, Ben. He's getting dressed to be a beekeeper. He's putting on his thick clothes. The bees can't sting through the clothes. He's got good, tough shoes. This is my big brother, Andrew. He has a different kind of, <laughs> of gear. He's having trouble getting his arms in there. Look, his hat is attached to his shirt. We call a beekeeper's hat his veil. Now he's going to take the strings and tie it around so that the bees can't get inside. Ben even has special straps to tie around the bottom of his pant legs so that the bees don't climb up his pants and get stuck and sting him. Andrew's putting on his bee gloves. Bee gloves are made out of extra thick material and they go all the way up your arms. There's Ben's gloves. Watch how he makes sure that his sleeve is down in the glove so that the bees can't get inside his sleeve either. Now he's ready to go. So this is a honey frame. This is what a beekeeper puts inside the bee's house for him to build on. He uses this to make homes for the babies or, or cells for the honey to go in or the food to go in. It's flat but it still has the shape of a honeycomb. Does anybody know what shape that is? That's right, that's a hexagon. It has six sides. It's hard to see on this side, but look what happens when the beekeeper gives it to the bees. They build it out. They make it taller with empty holes to fill. And inside those holes, they can lay an egg. The queen can lay the eggs where they can put some nectar or some food or some honey. This is a frame that the bees already finished with. It's empty, so they can fill it up next. Look at how it has lots and lots of little holes. Here comes Dane, another helper. Pretty good chance that there's hive. no drones in these boxes right now. Hey Dane, are you worried about getting stung? Not really. Why not? It doesn't really hurt. <laughs> it doesn't hurt too much. And look, he brought up another hive. They have three hives full of bees. Each hive has its own queen. They don't share queens at all. So this is what one of the hives looks like. And maybe Ben can point for me to where the door is. Where would the bees come in and out? Right here. Right down there. But Ben said that, and, and Andrew said, that they're gonna close that door up for a few days just so that they can get settled into their new house. Now right now, the top of the house is open, but that will get covered up too after they put the sugar water inside. So look, there's one box full of bees that's gonna go into this hive, and one box full of bees that's gonna go into this hive, and one box full of bees that's gonna go into this hive. And do you see that? There's the hive again. Do you see that? Isn't it interesting how they're climbing around inside that box? I was wondering if we got real close, if you could hear them buzzing, but they're pretty quiet today. You can see the little strap for the queen's box on top. See how this queen box has a strap on it? That's where the queen is hanging inside. There's actually three different kinds of bees. There's worker bees, and most of these that you see today are worker bees. Worker bees are the ones that do most of the work. Doesn't that make sense? They can fly, they can go collect nectar, and they, they move around a lot, but they also don't live very long. In fact, most of the bees, except for the queen, don't live very long. You see all the dead bees on the bottom? That doesn't mean that there's a problem. It just means that they lived as long as they're gonna live, and then new bees will be coming later. There's another kind of bee called a drone. A drone is a bee that stays in the hive its whole life. It never goes out to work, because it doesn't know how to fly. A drone also doesn't have a stinger. The worker bees can sting, but the drone cannot sting. So the drones stay in the hive and they help the queen. They clean the hive, they build out the honeycomb, 
They help take care of the babies. They feed the larva. They also help the honey, the queen as she's laying her eggs. If a honeybee comes near me, I don't get worried. I just wait patiently and it'll fly away. Honeybees only like to sting if they're defending themselves, if they're protecting themselves. If you scare them, they might think that you're trying to hurt them and they might sting you. But really, honeybees are quite gentle. They don't want to sting you because if a honeybee stings you, then it dies. Shot or something. Look at that. So there's probably about, I don't know, maybe 2,000 to 3,000 bees inside of that. And right in the center is a feeding jar full of sugar water with little holes in the bottom that they can go and go to the bottom of the jar and get a little sugar water and then they feed that to the queen or they feed it to each other. And then inside of this big pile of bees here is a little box that we showed you earlier, I think. That's this one. Yep, that's got the queen in it with a couple of worker bees that keep feeding the queen and take care of her. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off this little piece of wood. We're gonna lift out that can and we're gonna pull out that little box with the queen in it and we're gonna cover this back up so the worker bees don't come out right away. Then we're gonna release the queen because on the end of this is a little hole that the queen has to come out of. So we're gonna take her out first. We're gonna set her upside down in the new hive or the new house that she's gonna go in. And then once she's in, then we'll take this box, we'll take this little piece of wood off the top. There's a big hole in here. And we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna bounce the bees right out of the box into their new house. And their tendency is to go find the queen right away and protect her. So they're not gonna go flying all over the place. They're gonna go right into the hive. They're gonna surround the queen, make sure she's safe. And then we're gonna cover everything up and let them sit for a day or two so they can settle in in their new house. And then we'll come back a day later or two days later and we'll open up the openings on their house and let them start flying for honey and, or not for honey, but for pollen and nectar and. Are you worried that some of the bees escaped and they're on the outside? Not really. We always get some packages that have a few stragglers that didn't quite make it into the box, but they're part of the hive. When they, when they put the uh, bees in the box, not all of them make it in for that family, if you will. And they still, they still hang with their family on the outside of the box the entire time they're traveling. Do you see how Ben is busy making blocks to close up the house? He wants to make sure that the bees stay in their hive for a few days while they get settled. Here they go. They're getting ready to put the first beehive or the bee colony into the hive. There's the sugar water. You can see the can coming out first. And they're holding on to the queen's strap so that they don't lose her. Remember, they're going to take her out and they're going to cover up that hole so the rest of the colony doesn't come out. So you, one of them tried to sting me here. You see the stinger sticking out there? It's a poison yeah. sack right there. And she didn't get me because my gloves are on, but she tried. So she was she... not happy with me. But here is the queen in here, right there. I believe that's the queen right there on the bottom. You can tell because she's got a bigger abdomen, longer, thicker than these little worker bees in there. On this end is just a patty of um, granulated sugar so that she has something to eat all the time. And you can see in this particular one, they've got what, four worker bees, maybe five in there, five in there, five worker bees inside there just to take care of the queen. She's a little prima donna. <laughs> she always needs somebody with her. Um, and these were some of the worker bees that were on the outside of, of that trying to, you know, check on There's her. There's another one that tried to sting you. Yeah, that one, that one's got a stinger out. You can see it dragging around. Unfortunately, that little worker bee is gonna die in a couple of hours because when they sting you, it pulls out a piece of their abdomen and they can't live without it. So you can see the stinger hanging right off the end of that bag. And so if you ever get stung by a honeybee, this only works for honeybees, but if you get stung by a honeybee, what you want to do is take your fingernail and try to flick with your fingernail the 
stinger out of your skin without squeezing this, the poison set and it won't hurt nearly as much or as long. That's a quick tip for those of you. Most of the people don't get stung by honeybees. They get stung by wasps or hornets or um, yellow, jackets. yellow jackets or all those other kinds of wasps. So that doesn't work for them, unfortunately, because they have a stinger that doesn't come out of their body and they can just keep stinging you. Honeybees are unusual in that they can only sting you one time and then they die. So what we do is we pop the cork out. We gotta make sure that the queen doesn't fly away. So we don't want her to come out right away. What we wanna do is kind of keep it covered with our finger or maybe upside down so she doesn't fly in the hole right away. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this into the hive like this so that she can eventually find her way out with the worker bees and she'll find her way into the bottom super over there. And then pretty quickly, within probably a few hours or maybe the first day, she'll start laying eggs. And she can lay a thousand eggs a day. Um, sometimes more if she's a really busy, quick um, queen, bee. queen bee. 